Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video, or just welcome in general if this is the first time you are on my channel. I am so excited to be sharing this video. There are signs of life everywhere outside, and it really reinvigorates your motivation and your appreciation for life. I think we forget over the course of the spring, summer, and fall how privileged we are to experience nature and the greenery, and we really gain appreciation for it over the winter. and. You really forget how much you need the sunlight and how much you need nature for your happiness. And so we are just so excited here on the homestead to be getting spring rolling. Um, we've got garden plans, we've got the chicken coop going up, all the things are happening. We should be getting our chicks in about a week. I'm so excited that you're here. Please continue to follow along on this journey and learn and build with us. Hey guys, welcome to the chicken coop. I figured I'd take the time today to just give you a little bit of a tour of what's in progress in the chicken coop. Um, it is nowhere near finished. Um, we still have a lot of work to do, but I figured I'd give you a progress update. Um, you know, so anyone could learn from this, maybe learn from our mistakes or learn from, you know, what we're doing. So uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look. There's quite a few tools in here currently, obviously because we're doing some work, but originally, and I wish I had a video, I don't, but originally everything on the inside of this coop was just like the raw wood. But what we've done with it since is we bought this poly wall. Um, it just comes in, you know, I think rolls maybe at like Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever. Um, we bought that poly wall and then we painted all of the wood with like this primer painting and the idea behind this is you know that when we want to clean out the coop it'll come off a lot easier you won't have like staining on raw wood so we also put a vinyl flooring inside of here so this should be really easy to uh, power wash um, and we did the same thing in the nesting boxes the primer paint Obviously this is where we will be getting the eggs. Um, so we have a little latch here to keep it up in our, uh, so that we can access the nesting beds easily. Um, that's pretty much it for that, you know, pretty typical coop style. We have our little egg uh, sign. And then we reinforced these windows. Every single window on this coop is reinforced. I'm sure everyone knows that, but if you don't, highly recommend it. Um, so predators cannot get in. All right guys, so we have just the beginning uh, so far of our chicken run. So this will be the section that will have a roof. So we reinforced um, support on the side of the chicken coop. And we have this crossbar here. The idea is we're gonna use hardware cloth. So we're gonna bring it out two feet across. Uh, we're gonna dig it, obviously, bury it a little bit under the ground so that, you know, when predators come and try to dig under, they will run into the hardware cloth. And that will also go a couple feet up here. And then for the rest, we will be using um, chicken wire. And then, on top of that, we actually have these um, chain link fences. So the previous owners uh, of this residence um, had dog kennels here where the chicken coop is. So we obviously tore that out and we'll be repurposing the, the fencing um, to make an extension of the uh, chicken run. So, and then obviously we'll be reinforcing the chain links with a smaller fencing. So we'll have two on each side. So that'll be like an extra 22 feet of chicken run. So um, hopefully the guys or the gals actually will have a nice large area to hang out in. Um, I think we will pasture them only when we're outside. Um, just so that obviously we can keep our flock intact. That is the idea. We will obviously have aerial protection. Um, 
and probably more than I am currently forgetting. But that is, oh, you can see my tripod in the background, but that's what we have going on for now. Um, we also have installed our chicken run door. Very fancy. So that's what we have going on for the chicken coop. That's all the progress we've made so far. Unfortunately, we have quite a few rainy days coming up. So, I mean, hopefully it'll hold off and we can get some more work done. I did also wanna, you know, touch on what our garden plans are. So basically behind me, you see these bushes here. These are blueberry bushes. And this is the only remaining uh, plant that we kept um, that the previous owners had. So I'll insert a couple pictures of what the previous owners kind of had in this space. It was very overgrown and not really organized in any type of fashion. Um, so we kind of ripped everything out. The only thing I am bummed about is that we ripped out the raspberry bushes, but that's okay, we can grow back our own raspberry bushes. So um, yeah, we kind of have this whole area cleared behind me. Let me show you guys. So this is the area where they had their garden. Um, we have this section obviously and we've planned an even you know, bigger section. We have stakes in the ground. I don't know if you can see any of them kind of plotting out what we want our um, garden area to look like. We are planning on building six different beds. I don't know if we will be using all of them this year. We will definitely be using four to five of them um, this year. So we're very excited for that. Um, I'll show you guys our seedlings so far. We still have so many more to plant. I've got some strawberry bare roots coming in. Um, so, you know, spring is slightly springing here. I can't say spring has sprung because we've had actually a very funky winter spring season. We had to, you know, rip out the bird feeder that they had. I mean, this is the original bird feeder that they had right here, but we had to take it off its post and everything to cut down the garden. We also have this patch here that I think used to just be a bunch of wild grasses, but our idea is to take up this whole patch and actually plant a bunch of sunflowers and wildflowers. We thought that that would be a really nice use of this space. Um, and make everything gorgeous back here.